the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double anger. Feel the power of 21.org. It's an app radio. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Davis and I'm from Haiti. But I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, positive power 21. Jerry Wolf Live Worldwide. What's up, family? What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome to Late Night with Jerry Woods Live Worldwide and my co-host, Paula G. The Voice, Shay Samuels, a special guest tonight from Relations Radio, CEO, you know her, Kimmy Kim, coming out of St. Louis. Welcome, everybody. We hope you guys stick around and enjoy the show. And don't forget, you can catch us, you can catch us now, you can catch Late Night on Amazon Music and Audible. That's right, y'all. So anyway, any way you like to listen to your podcast, iTunes, Google, Spotify, iHeart. That's right. Pick one, y'all. All All right. Let's get this show on the road. We celebrate 700 episodes. Happy New Year to everybody. We hope you guys put the New Year in safe and um, masked up. That's right, y'all. Yeah, we're in, into a very important climate right now. <laughs> Political, weather, <laughs> pandemic, you name it. It's all out there. Of course, we always want to talk about making that money. You want to be in that climate. All right, everybody, let's, we're going to let the ladies out the queue real quick. We're going to, before we bring our guest, uh, Kimmy Kim, because we're going to interview her. Kimmy Kim is actually going to be coming back and joining us. On Monday nights, that's right, at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, that's right, p.m., she'll be joining the Batman and helping us out with all our exciting, exciting guests. So we're excited to have her back. She's been away for a little while, but she is back, Kimmy Kim. So let's talk to Shay Sammy real quick and Paula G, the voice. What's going on, ladies? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Batman. Happy New Year. Happy doing? New Year, Positive Power listeners and viewers and everybody around the world. I'm good. All right. What's up? What's up with you, Paula G? How you doing? Happy New Year. Paula Hello, G. Paula G. To, yeah, she's she working on some new headphones. She might have some problems. We'll hold it down for it. We'll hold it down. That's right. We'll and, it's, you know, the Internet has been, been uh, you know, they've been straining the Internet. So many people's online right now. We just blessed that we'd be able to do a live broadcast. Um, we had to update our system, so we spent a greater weekend <laughs> trying to get all our settings right. And I'm, I'm sure they're probably still wrong, but we're going to make it happen, y'all. We're going to do the best we can. That's all right, we so do. we'll wait till, um I think she came back in to see. She on the phone. What's up, Paula G? You back? Hey, Happy New Year. How's everybody? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. Can y'all believe it? We are yeah, you guys. You guys got a, a good 2021. That's right. Mm-hmm. And we're excited. We're excited to have our good friend, uh, Kimmy Kim, back with us. Um, you know, she had me on the phone for like three hours one day. And... Um, <laughs> Of course, you know, everybody's moving into different directions. Um, God is blessing them with so many endeavors. You know, it's always good to hear people moving forward in life. And so congratulations to Shea Samuels and Paula G. Voice, brand new endeavors, um, just, just soaking it all up with God is blessing them with. And, and, man, we've been so blessed to have you guys with us for the number of years that you guys have been with us. But, of course, we still got television airing. Everyone is yeah. growing. You can catch my journey in Atlanta, Georgia, in the metropolitan area, in DeKalb County, as well as you can catch her in the Bronx. That's right. My journey is now airing in the Bronx. We give you guys more information. It's going to be uh, it got picked up as a TV policy. So keep us in prayer that uh, it become a series, and I got a good feeling it will be. So uh, just look out for that, y'all. So meanwhile, we hope you guys will be able to support us by checking out their streaming platform. And they stream everywhere. So um. We'll, we'll make sure we get you those links. All right. You guys ready to talk to, to – um, you guys got a little bit more before we bring uh, Kimmy Kim on? No, I don't have anything. I can't well, wait to talk to my sister, Kimmy Kim. Yes. All right. So how's the connection back. with me, y'all? Cause I, I got a little rough connection with you guys, but how's my connection? 
Oh, I hear you well. Loud and clear in the studio. All right. That's right. I got a super system. That's right. Batman built the super system. My settings may be off, but it's got a lot of power. But anyway, um, real quick, Shay, tell us what, you, what you're working on new for 2021 so people can support you. What's up? <laughs> well, um, the primary, the primary um, thing that I'm working on really is just the expansion of Let's Talk Business Consulting Strategy and Coaching Group. Um, a lot of people have been able to take advantage of that in 2020, and so we've just kind of rebuilt and restructured it. And um, so this year, I'm just excited about more coaching opportunities coming out of it. Uh, so that's really, you know, the biggest thing. Of course, the music is going to be the music beyond the fence, the label. We're changing from entertainment to enterprise, um, and that that will people will be, you know, find out more about that as it unfolds. So, and of course, the red room. That's right. All right. And, and some, some bigger and better things will be happening for the Red Room, too. I'm actually working on some, some new TV deals. Some of them still having issues with the pandemic and closing, but uh, Batman is on it. He's on it. That's right. Expanding territory. Everybody pray, you know, pray, pray for people to expand their territory, and yes. you got to act on it. Yes. you got to act on it. Yes. That's right. All right. Bless you. All right. Paula Voice, Paula G, the Voice of America, what's new in your camp? Well, I'm excited about coming into the 2021 as we continue with my journey with Paula G. And we've got some exciting guests coming up, and we've got some interviews that we've done uh, already that I'm excited for the audience to see those as well. And uh, I'm also excited about the mindset journey course that I have, unlocking the mindset and creating a new narrative, and um, as well as, oh gosh, we got a lot going on, January 23rd, God is in everything conference. Yay! I'm excited this year to be the keynote speaker <laughs> with my sister, Shay Samuels, <laughs> so I'm so honored to be the keynote speaker, and I, I appreciate her and her support and all that she's doing in her business endeavors and just collaborating and working together um, to use the gifts that God has given us as we take this journey. <laughs> so we're excited. Right. You know, so you we're, like have, the have so much we're, we're like the unbreakable escape and destiny child. That's, that's Paula G. <laughs> not. We're the unbreakable escape. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's right. Beyonce always come back for her friends. That's right. Yeah. And, I, oh, and I'm yeah. saying you guys have so much experience. You know, you guys can do, do whatever your heart desires, whatever God sets yeah. on your heart. So, uh, you know, keep pushing forward. Don't let nobody hate on you. Just keep moving. Yeah, All right. Going. And I'm yes. so happy Thank for you, you so guys. Much, That's right. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I, had a, I, had a, I had a great chat with Paula G today because, I, I, you know, I got a lot of phone calls. I had a chance to talk to my good buddy, my brother, Charles D. Clark from Empire. I, you know, I never throw Charles' name out there all the time, but, you know, we, we started this thing together. And I, I got to, you know, I'm so grateful for that guy. He he connected us with so many people that, that gave us mm-hmm. so much experience. And that's basically how we got connected with Shay, really, if you think about the, the long, the, if you go all the way deep into it, Shay, it was Jay Nicole and Charles D. Clark that got us connected because then you and, you know, you and David were at those events. So right. um, I got, I got, a, I got to shout out Charles D. Clark. That brother has been and also, you know, on a sad note, um, someone he was he was pretty dear to his heart. He was mentoring, um, uh-huh. uh, got in some pretty bad trouble this week, and so we're gonna keep her in prayer. Uh, I'm not uh-huh. gonna throw that name out there, but just just you know, we just wanna let him know that we're thinking about him because you know it's hard when you you know a mentor, someone you mentoring uh, gets in a whole lot of trouble. You yeah. know, you feel like you didn't either do enough or you came in too late. You know, so uh, that was a little troubles and um just getting that news today but we're gonna keep him in prayer you know that um you know things work out yep so anyway on a positive note we got my good friend kimmy kim she is here waiting to take over (laughs) what's going on kimmy kim what's going on how you doing hello beautiful women and Jerry, jerry but you know i don't take over i'm just a humbling (laughs) spirit i love both of my uh, sisters and my brother. So I'm just a humbling servant. That is Kimmy Kim. <laughs> Good man. 
Kimmy. And thank you, Kimmy Kim, for you know, being love, part of this celebration, 700 episodes. Oh, I'll tell you guys all the time, this is Batman's third time circling this wagon of 700 episodes. So, you know, if you think about a 2100 episode, now there wasn't a whole lot of repeats in there. You know, some people have come back a couple of times, maybe one or two times. <laughs> but I met a lot of people. And, and I think Shay said it on her show. I was listening to a show she did with me about how many people you're able to connect with doing the remote broadcast. I, I know I went on forever about, I didn't like that word virtual. <laughs> but listen to the part of Jesus. She probably was trying to steer me in another direction. But I just do not like the word virtual unless you were actually looking like you're virtual. But if you're in a studio and you're able to connect with some people in that studio, that's, it is a beautiful thing because we're meeting a lot of people this way. Like you said, Shay, they don't have to travel all the way to Baltimore. They don't have to, you know, um, charge up their credit cards and find some place to stay. They just We just say to give them a date and time and let it happen. And, and I think this show has been coming across very, very well, and everybody's doing yeah. it. Yeah. You guys said, love and that's the difference, too. We talked about the untapped territory today. So that's the difference because there's a lot of breakout media that happened in 2019 and 2020, but we also talk about disruption. So you were prepared to do something that other media outlets weren't able to do. So you withstood the pandemic. So shout out to you, Jerry Royce. Hey, that man was right. Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry must have told me something. Batman. Something was about to go down. I didn't know what it was. I just was ready for it. But Jerry. anyway, we appreciate Jerry. you guys. And um, again, we love you guys. We wish you guys um, the best of luck. If you need us for anything, just let us know. You know, to help you if you need any help for anything, we right here. All right. So will we, Jerry? So, yes, we are. We <laughs> we, we back out. All right. <laughs> yeah. We're ready. Appreciate you. All right. Y'all have, a, y'all have a great show. PG, it's on you. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, <laughs> family, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Positive Power 21 Christian Media. We are so grateful for each and every one of you to join us, and we encourage you to join us each and every night right here on Positive Power 21 Triple Bot Podcast. There is something for everyone each and every night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, doesn't matter. Check us out. Check us out. Well, this evening, we are so excited to have our sister. She is no stranger to Positive Power 21. She, and she'll, she'll have a moment here to share with you her, her journey, but we, Shay and I, have been holding it down while uh, she has been away, and she's back, and we are just excited to be able to pass the baton to her this evening, and we welcome back our sister, Kimmy Kim. Hey, hey. Now, that was such a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful welcoming back. Can we all do, do it together? <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> but thank you so much, my sister. I remember meeting you uh, a few years ago. You were so yeah, still the same, so beautiful with that oh, big thank you. smile <laughs> and big heart. So thank you so much for that. I miss y'all. I miss radio. Yeah, with Jerry yeah, Rose and the Positive yeah. Power family, you know, yes, and Shay yeah. Sam. And yeah, this is, <laughs> this is definitely it. it. I can't wait to yeah. to the. Um, to the seminar in a couple more weeks. I'm looking forward to yeah, that. Yeah, a couple more, yes. the 23rd of uh, January, so uh, it's Saturday. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm glad because I get a chance to have both of you on. Uh, Kimmy Kim is going to be doing a testimony. Mm-hmm. Um, she's sharing her yeah. testimony. And so, and apologies, the keynote speaker. That's why I said we're all on tonight. We're no strangers. <laughs> Exactly. This is like, it's a family reunion. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly, exactly. Well, you know, as as with family reunions, you know, it's it's a gathering. It's a bringing of family members together. And, you know, when we opened the show, uh, Jerry shared a bit of what was going on with Positive Power, and Shay shared a bit of what was going on in her world, and I shared a bit of what has been going on in my world. So share with the audience what has been going on in your world since you were in front of this mic. It's been a minute. Wow. It's been, what, two years. Wow. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) One thing I can can say, but God, um, 
twenty twenty eighteen was a interesting trying year. Um, mm-hmm. That was the year that I discovered my true strength. And so I was diagnosed with the breast cancer underneath my armpit. It was second stage, mm-hmm. August of 2018. And um, that was a shocker because I was the type of person to try my best to eat well. I cannot ever say I'm 100% of something, but mm-hmm. I always stood up for eating right and working out and, you know. And uh, what had happened was there was a bump underneath my armpit, and my um, OBGYN thought it was like a razor bump. And she was like, don't worry about it. So I went to my breast center and got my mammogram, and they detected the same thing. It was just a you know, bump from the shaving of the hair. And that was 2017, so 2018. It got a little bit bigger. And still underneath the mammogram and the ultrasound, it was declared as a uh, hair bump. So the breast cancer mercy of St. Louis, Missouri, was still kind of mm-hmm. concerned. So they wanted me to have that removed underneath my armpit. And at this time, it still classify as a bump or cyst underneath my armpit. So Dr. Nav, he is a surgeon, a non-oncologist one, and he persuaded me to do the surgery instead of taking medication to shrink down the um, the bump. So I did. And two weeks later, he says, I got some good news and I got some bad news. And you know me, I like yeah. the bad news first. <laughs> so the bad news is you got cancer. The good news oh, is uh, we um, – is stage two, so it could have been a lot worse had I, mm-hmm. if had it would not been for Dr. Neff pushing me to getting a surgery because I was not in it for the surgery at all. He persuaded me. Mm-hmm. I don't know what what had happened, but the good news is it didn't hit inside of my breast tissue. It mm-hmm. it was right at the bone, the ox, the auxiliary is right underneath your armpit, right before you feel your that bone before your. Um, you know that bone underneath your armpit? That's where it was. Yes. It was not wow. that far, and that's where breast starts, and I didn't know mm-hmm. that. So so I had to do another surgery. So I had two surgeries, and then my chemo started right after the Alicia Honors of 2018. And mm-hmm. so I went 12 chemos and 33 radiations and two wow. surgeries. Wow. But... <laughs> What what kept me? I'm gonna be honest. Um, mm-hmm. Twenty eight, no twenty nineteen ninety eight. Um, I was living a lukewarm life. I have always been in the church, but you know, I was playing God and playing the church. So I decided mm-hmm. to get myself together. So my identity came when I renewed my um, life with Christ. So had I not known who I was in the Lord, I would have gone cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Yeah, I'm going crazy. But because of who I was in 2018, that yeah. was the biggest challenge for me. The cancer wasn't. So because wow. I knew who I was and I knew that God would never leave me nor forsaken me, don't get me wrong, I did cry. I just say, I did have a Joe moment. Why me? Right. <laughs> and then he says, why not me? He, why I remember not me? he sent like a moon near my uh, window in my bedroom. Why not you? So uh, I still cry because I'm a cry baby. I'm like, Jesus, I will. I will, I will weep in a minute. So, but what got me through this was I will trust you by um, by um, oh my goodness, don't believe, I don't believe, uh, Mr. Fortune, and he knows my name. Mm-hmm. Those two songs really got me through. Um, mm-hmm. And this too shall pass with Yolanda Adams. That was the mm-hmm. third song. Those three songs was my rock, and then I started to write more. But long. In the long haul, it was really scary in the beginning because, you know, one thing for me, I don't know about you both, I know for me, you know, women, we love our hair. <laughs> yeah. I was like, girl, I was like, God, take everything but my hair. But my hair was but gone. Hair. It was <laughs> I love my hair. So <laughs> it, that was the most insecure. That was the one, one thing that I felt insecure about, losing my hair. Mm-hmm. But then God built me up as um, I was going through the trial and tribulations and, you know, because I had that relationship with him, mm-hmm. I was able to stand with him. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, that that has been 
such a journey for you. I, you know, I can remember back uh, when you were first diagnosed and, you know, you were sharing some of your experiences on social media, and I can just remember, you know, saying to myself, oh, my gosh, you know, she's just, she's going through so much, yet still she's rising and still she's moving forward. And, you know, the fact that you have really come full circle and you're, and you're back on air and you're coming back on air, you know, there, there are women out there that are listening that may be going through and um, have really just been encouraged, you know, by your, mm-hmm. you know, by your testimony and, 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 you know, I'm sure can relate to some of the things, you know, that you, that you have shared. During that time, because it's been, as you mentioned, it's been about two years during that time period, what would you say maybe if, if there was a, a, a high point for you mm-hmm. during that time, if there was a, a point um, where you felt most encouraged, what, oh, what would you goodness. say that moment was? I remember my first... Um, harsh treatment because I had to do the strongest um, chemo because I uh-huh. had to get six lip notes taken away. And so it was so harsh I had to use that little thing that you see on the commercial where they don't want mm-hmm. you to come back in the office. So I had to use that on me. But after, mm-hmm. I, take, after I took that particular chemo, it's called the, mm-hmm. the devil, the red devil. Mm-hmm. It's definitely the red right. devil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so I had to stay with my mom and my dad because mm-hmm. I was too weak to uh, to really mm-hmm. care for myself, I was bed mm-hmm. in the bed each time because I had to take six of those. I was yeah. no four of those. I was in bed for seven days each time I took that. So I was taking on a weekend so that I wouldn't have mm-hmm. to um, take away a lot of time from my work because I was still working in the, mm-hmm. in the midst of my chemo sessions. So when I saw how my mom was nursing me, I mean, mm-hmm. just having that support not only from Malaysian oh. family and friendly and positive um, power 21 but my mom and dad and they didn't ever complain and just seeing her nurse me back without complaining mm-hmm. and keep in mind my dad was going through lung cancer her oh other gosh, um her other um sister at that time she mm-hmm. went on to be with the Lord this year she was going through her sickness she was taking care of three people at one time without any oh complaint. my gosh without so complaint. yeah that was without complaining so that my mom was my rock <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> truly the queen <laughs> yeah I yeah. mean three my mom is amazing I mean she never complains doesn't ask for yeah. anything mm-hmm. yeah Oh, what an what a what an inspiration! What an inspiration! So, how does it feel to be back in the driver's seat? Wow, humbling <laughs> because I stopped sharing my story for one reason because mm-hmm. although I made it, I feel really bad when other people don't, and so I mm-hmm. learned how to be humble at the same time yes. because yes. I don't want to parade mine better than this person. Family is like, how come she made it and not me made it? Mm-hmm. So God is teaching me in the midst of my testimony to be humble about it because other people didn't get the same, well, they got their wings, but I'm sure they probably would want to be here a lot longer. So mm-hmm. it's teaching me to how to be humble. Wow. Really. Wow. The testimony teaches you how to be humble because yeah. it's kind of, you got to be careful how you share it because you never know. Mm. You may offend someone who had a family member who didn't make it. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's a catch 22, mm-hmm. but I'm humble every day just to thank God on mm-hmm. his goodness and his mercy and knowing that I I do have a relationship with him and the prayers Amen. I'm telling you there's something about prayers when you're in the midst of weakness you feel the prayers of the righteous people mm-hmm. and just knowing mm-hmm. that when we are weak we can um, call upon each other and pray prayer does work mm-hmm. it, it's yeah. amazing how how strong you can become when people are praying for you when you're in the bed and, and you cannot um, you cannot even stand up. I mean, there were times I was in so much pain. I would just ask God, why me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but then I had to reflect on, you know, Jesus, you know. Mm-hmm. 
he was blameless Amen. and he was able to was was held and um he stood firm on the cross but he could have come down but he he uh was blameless and he died for our sins. So the courage of knowing that um trouble don't last always is also helpful in knowing that he will never place more on us than we can bear. So those are the things that kept me. And of course my family and my friends and you know, Shay mm-hmm. reached out to me, Jerry <laughs> <laughs> All that gave me some likes on my post. So I'm, I'm just, I just love my family. It's not, it's not like, love you. See, see, it's not like a spiritual family, you know? Spiritual yeah. family lasts. Because yeah. when you leave here, we're still going to see each other again. That's what mm-hmm. I love about the spiritual family. It's amazing. Amen. Well, I will say, um, uh, Kimmy Kim, I will say I thank you. I, one of my very first interviews on Positive Power was with you and Jerry. And um, and I never forget it. And so, you know, you're like a kid. You get starstruck kind of. And it's like um, when Jerry called me and he said, hey, you know, I need you to fill in on Mondays. And although we had, we knew what was going on with you um, and, and it wasn't publicized yet, but we knew what was going on. So Jerry had called and said, hey, you know, we need I need you to fill in for Kimmy Kim if you can um, because she's not doing well. And so – just like you said, the spiritual family, everyone, um, because we have one another in mind. Um, mm-hmm. and, and that's really kind of how the power, so the power family um, kind of is integrated. You know, we're integrated in a way where uh, the, the ones that are connected understand the mission. And so it was a very seamless transition. And so you said two years ago, and I was like, wow, it's been two years. It's been, it went by so years. fast. Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing. Within that two years, you also have your own radio show. And so you came back stronger, bolder. Um, Like you said, you have the Elation Honor, um, Elation Honor Award Show. Uh, Kimmy Kim, you were still honoring people even in your downtime. How did you make that all happen? Because I'm still reminded, um, I don't know if it was Jerry or or someone from Relation Family, it's not really about me. It's all about serving others. And one thing I've learned about the uh, walk of living for God, of course you want to take care of yourself, but once you're okay and you know that God got you, you 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 got to stay focused on walking on the water and keep your eyes on Jesus because the moment yeah. you look back, you can drown. So I didn't want to drown yeah. in that sorrow oh, and wow. me, you know, in that cancer. It's because for some reason, you know, he allowed me to go through it. But then what was so magnificent about the situation is that the cancer were right before it entered the breast. I was like, God. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. look how she thinks. Think. Look how she thinks. <laughs> I'm like, Most people just I mean, focus on the fact that they have it. She's like, look, what? it was right before. Go ahead, Kimmy Kim. Right. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, right, I mean, it could have been, I mean, I met some wonderful sisters who who had two mastectomy and, and they they are so beautiful. I, I'm like still amazed by their strength because um, my auntie, she had to go through two of the uh, um, mastectomy. She got both of her breasts removed from breast cancer, and I was just amazed by her. And just to see those sisters, you know, no, we call mm-hmm. each other pink sisters, you know, just endure yeah. that. Oh, I, was, yeah. I was like, wow. So I also learned how to really listen more as well because um, I think this journey has taught me to listen more and talk mm-hmm. less because, wow. you know, I I come to learn that people just want to be heard. And uh, it's teaching me how to be more humble and more mm-hmm. graceful, more graceful. And it's teaching me to love even harder. So honoring people who honor, uh, who does the work of the Lord is amazing to me mm-hmm. because I just love how people have a passion for the Lord and they don't, ask for anything. They don't care about the crowd. They will still minister to someone if it's one person or 1,000 people in the room. Yeah. And that mm-hmm. is so amazing to me. You know, people yeah. not concerned about the numbers, but just about the the work that they do. So that's the honor to have me 
me, little me. So Scott gave me this vision back in 2014, and it came to the to pass because the reason I'm gonna be honest, the main reason it happened was because Michelle. Michelle kept pushing me. It's like it's not time yet, Kim. You gotta stop saying when it's time. Uh, Michelle, it's not time yet. This was 2018, right? Right wow. before I knew I had breast cancer. It, this was like about um, I would say March. She was like, no, you, let's do it. Let's do it. No, I don't have enough money. Kim, who do you trust? So it was really Michelle pushing me because I, I was not ready in 2018. I prob- probably would say the same thing in 2019 and 2020. <laughs> so she pushed me out of <laughs> my comfort zone. And yeah. so that's God. That's God. Sometimes you God will send you team. coaches and rulers. Mm-hmm. What was that, honey? I was just saying you have an amazing team. You definitely have an amazing team of people um, who catered. Yeah. They were trying to cater, Paula and Jared, just so you know, and listeners. So the mm-hmm. team was trying to do what she has them in place to do, yet, and I'm the person talking, but yet Kimmy Kim is running around. Like, they're like, where is Kimmy Kim? She's up there trying to mm-hmm. give out the award. She's trying to serve food. She's, you know, she's doing it. And they're like, just sit down. But it's an amazing thing to be able to put something together as elegant, and as uh, successful as the Elation Honors has been, I, I literally had a chance to jo- join you all uh, last year, and David had a chance to um, join you the year prior to that in last year, and he talked so highly about it. And just to know the number of people that you are connected to, I'm proud, and beyond the sense of the family and the Positive Power family, we're proud to say that we are connected to you. So um, I'm just, I'm really honored. So I thank you for all of your service. And, um, and yeah, and you actually won an award last year at the God Isn't Everything. Well, not, you were honored with an award last year. So you'll get that this year. Thanks. Well, I'm the honor <laughs> award because, award. Uh, see, Shady thinks she's lit. She does a lot of things. I see things as well, and Paula and Jerry. But I, I, I see all three of you guys doing the same thing. So it's amazing how birds of the feather flocks together. Exactly. It's like God brings people together for His good, and yeah, everybody has their them. gift. You know, you know. Mm-hmm. Father got the voice and other things, and coaching, and Shay got the the singing, the coaching, and and Jerry got the. Everything from Jerry to touch. I mean, I mean, he's just got everything, you know. <laughs> so I, my passion is radio and writing. So it's it's just, it's just so amazing that you know he brings people together who has yeah. a heart for him, and we and love. Then, we we actually love each other. It's like we, we we, there's no competition. Really- once yeah. we yeah. stepped back and had this meeting, this production meeting, right, Kimmy Kim, we had this production meeting, and we were like, so how did Mondays happen? You know, we had to roll the tape. And it's just amazing the how rewind button. we had to hit the rewind button. And <laughs> we're like, well, wait a minute. This is how, because, you know, when you're in it for the right reasons, nothing else really matters. You know, to know that right. we were able to stand in the gap for you during your mm-hmm. time, um, and, and really just be able to kind of comfort you. You don't have to worry about it, you know. Um, and it does show what family, sometimes they always say um, it's not always the bloodline family members that you can rely on. And so uh, we've just become family in it. And so when you decided to come back, and so we're like, wait, Kimmy's coming back, you know. Yeah. So and it's right at the time that, you know, everyone else is, you know, we're, we're our, this is your territory being, um, increase our territory is increasing, Jerry's territory is increasing, and it just all fell back in line. So now you're going to be on the Positive Power um, Network, and there's a lot of new people, a lot of new listeners, a lot of new viewers, a lot of new things happening. So what can the listeners, viewers, and everyone else expect from Kimmy Kim when you come back? Oh, explosion, um, power, Ooh. passion, love, most importantly. I love you. And uh, I'm real. Hey, I can keep it 100. If I can be 100, I'm sorry. She can, she I can't be no. Gate. She came out the gate with explosion. Uh-huh. Not, oh, well, I'm just so happy to be back. And, you know, I just want to see where he, she, like, dropped the mic. She went, she went, she went, she went deep with that one. She went in. I thought she was about to start singing, I'm going to knock you out. Not that LL Cool J. You know, you know, you know, you know, exactly. Hey, LL Cool J. Step back. Step Don't talk back. about LL. That was, that was my boyfriend. No, I'm just kidding. 
I used to love LL when he first came out. He was so amazing. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot he of people was. who, mm-hmm. you know, don't like you. Like you said, in 2018, um, you know, this is what you and Jerry did. You guys were on on Monday nights, and you had a chance to interview people from all over the world. And so for some of you who are listening tonight, you might think this is a new voice, but this is the start of Monday Night Radio, Kimmy Kim and Jerry Voice. And so, I'm, like I said, I'm really honored. And, Paul, I'm going to hand it back over to you. But I'm just honored to know who you are. And, really, there was a lot that you had some big shoes to fill coming in. And uh, Paula G and I, it took two of us. You're one person. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I got some I, – I don't know how to feel. Your, your shoes. I mean, really, both of you guys? I mean, you both have TV shows now. I'm like, books, coaching. I'm like, how can – but that's the thing. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of everything. We all compliment each other. I love yeah. it. Yeah. That's so amazing. So, hey, um, I would love to co-host in a, if you guys want to come back. So <laughs> this is so amazing. I mean, just to see sisters get along and, you know, yeah. people say that, yeah. Yeah. especially black sisters don't get along. That's not true. That's yeah, we love each other. We that's actually true. love yeah. each other. Yeah, we do. We do. And that's rare yeah. to find. But but it's like mm-hmm. because when you're secure in the Lord, how can you really compete with each other? How? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's so very yeah. true. That's so very true. So, you, you know, you're coming back and, you, you know, the as I'm listening to you and I'm thinking about, you know, I open my, my television show mm-hmm. every week with the phrase that this journey, we're juggling, we're juggling this journey called life while walking in the gifts and the talents that God has given us. And you truly have, have really – demonstrated, you know, juggling this journey over the last, you know, two years. And I, and I love your sensitivity to, you know, others who, you know, may not have, have come through the journey as, as, as successfully as you have and being aware of that and being sensitive to that and just navigating how you share your testimony and when you share your testimony or where you share your testimony just to me just really speaks volumes to your heart and you know i always say that a lot of a lot of times when you listen to someone people can really tell you a lot about who they are you know and and, and the truth of their heart by the things that they share and the things that they say so as i'm listening to you i'm just you know, sitting here thinking this woman has such a, a beautiful, genuine, warm, loving, giving, giving caring heart. And I just mm-hmm. cannot wait. <laughs> to I cannot see. wait to come to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait. I can't to wait to see, see you. I, I want to see you again. I didn't get a chance to meet you in the good circumstances because of what was going on with Blossom and everything, but I, I wanted to see oh, you yeah. again. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh I my gosh, that again. was what, two, three, yeah, two years ago. That was like four years ago, ago almost. Yes. Four years. Yes. Yes, yes, that was it. But, you know, we all, like you, like, you know, Shay always says, you know, to everything there is a season. And it's yes. true, to everything there is a season, you know. But, it, 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 again, when you're on the journey and doing it for all of the right reasons, you know, your path will intersect. And all of our paths, right. indeed, you know, have intersected and, you know, have brought us to, you know, have brought us to this point. So yeah. we're just, we're just grateful. Like Shay said, it took two of us to make one, one Kimmy. It just took two of us. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, you guys know you, you guys are so amazing because um, I listen to the show sometimes and it's just mm-hmm. amazing how the show is so informative with love and compassion and, you know, and fun because one thing I can say yeah. about God, he was not boring, he was filled mm-hmm. with life and laughter. I mean, some of the um, stories that you find in the Bible, some of them are mm-hmm. humorous. I'm like, he yeah, already knew that we were going to mess up. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, just to know that he already he made us. He already knew he already we were going to mess up. He, he already knew that. that. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Like Adam. I mean, that. how you going to hide from me? I'm God. You know, that's 
<laughs> and we all were in the right place at the right time. We at also right have time. hashtag show up, but we all were in the right place at the right time. And so, you, um, you know, um, positive mm-hmm. power in itself is always evolving. And so I love, you know, yeah. there's that, 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 um, that soap opera as the world turns. And so mm-hmm. it's just as the world turns, you know, uh, the right people were put in the, in the right place. Uh, Kimmy, before we go, I do want you to let people know about your radio show because you are the owner of Elations Radio, which is a Positive Power um, production as well. So tell everyone about your radio show. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it 100. It was Jerry's fault because I remember first meeting him. He was like, Kim, instead of paying all that money at 1010, why don't you do radio here? Jerry, seven days a week, really? Is that I don't how know if I can do radio. Is that how that went down? Oh, is that how he found it? <laughs> okay, okay, let me, 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 let me do another one. Uh, Kim, you know, you spend a lot of money on 1010. Why don't you come to Jerry Royce? Jerry, I am uh, radio seven days a week. Yeah, yes, Kimmy, um, I think you would <laughs> love it. Now, this was before podcast was even thought of back in 2015. No one ever heard mm-hmm. of a podcast. Now it's popular, so Jerry was ahead of All the game. Over. So to yeah, make the long mm-hmm. story short, he convinced me, yeah, because 2015, no one ever heard of, well, Jerry was already out there, but I never heard of internet radio until I met Jerry. And now I'm having the best time of my life um, hearing so many different podcasts and different um, – um, the podcast on Unilation Radio is not all the same. They are all different from money to beyond the fence. I'm telling you, that's one of my favorite shows. They are fun. I mean, <laughs> they, be, they be like – Having fun, bringing the swag in, but then you have that deep meat moment. You know, it's it's fun. Mm-hmm. I, I just love fun. I, I never thought that God would be so dry and, and place in a box. But growing up in the church, they taught mm-hmm. you that. But then when God gives you revelation that he's not like that, you can have fun in the Lord and still be holy, that's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. True, and so true. how, how can everyone find you on your, mm-hmm. your show? Well, you can find me on Jerry Royce for sure. Um, I heart and um, we will be building a site for elationradio.com. But the, meanwhile, um, I heart, Spotify, um, Amazon Music, oh, really all of the podcast network. We, we are on over 10. And then, of course, Jerry Royce and Spreaker and Blah Talk. YouTube, and we I podcast like seven days a week. Yeah, I, I yeah. podcast probably like fifteen shows a week, and You're amazing. So I'm having You're an amazing so time. Yes, <laughs> I love it. There's I love no radio. Talk. See, I told Jerry that I may do TV with him only. I couldn't do TV. Uh, uh-uh. that's uh, I'm not no? really good on that. But I was no, I could do TV on his platform, but not on relations because I'm not good on videos and stuff. So I may be coming with a quarterly one just to test the waters, but uh, I'm still shy. <laughs> well, now we know that if we want to get Kimmy Kim to do something, we just have to push her into it, PG. We, we, yes, we do. So we'll, just, so we'll just put her on the schedule for the Red Room. We'll just put her yes. on the schedule for my journey. And... Yes, we just have to push her into it. I'm shy. She's not going to say no. She's not going to say yes. yes. Who show did we have her on? So we did take her on someone's show. She did a oh, good job. Oh, it was the what was the what was her name? She was nice too. Uh, Cherie. Oh yeah, Cherie. yeah. You, you was on, on late night TV. That's right. That's right. I never got a chance to see it yet. Okay. No, we haven't aired it. Yeah, we haven't aired that. Okay. Okay. Yet. Okay. Okay. She was so nice yeah. too. It was fun. It's just that I'm scared. I don't know why. I, you know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest between you and I. I was always insecure with my big eyes, but now I'm starting to see that big eyes are fine. Cause I'm oh, saying big I eyes keep that. on TV. Beautiful. <laughs> I, love that. I have oh, beautiful. you know big eyes are like you know like Diana Ross. You know she she helped me out a lot. So I was like Diana oh, Ross got big <laughs> eyes too. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think with those mean boys in high school, they used to mess them. Yeah, they could do that. That's all. Yeah, yeah they could do that. <laughs> but hey, so, look at you now. You are you are on radio and you are flourishing and soon to be on the red room and my journey with Paula G. So you know, 
Get her. Yes, her. yes. <laughs> you guys are amazing, and I'm so honored. And uh, I cannot wait to come to Atlanta or how it's um, and meet you in person, and then also uh, reunite with my girl Shay Sam. I always say. Shay Sams, but Samuels, but Shay Sams is, is your no, your coach Sam Sam or coach Sam. No, are you still doing coach no, Shay Shay? No, no, or are you no, doing coach no, I'm coach no. Shay Shay. You named me coach okay, Shay. Coach Shay Shay. Coach Shay Shay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I gave, love it. I gave a Shay Shay. Somebody gave a coach. That was Kimmy Kim. Kimmy Kim gave me coach Shay Shay. Shay Shay, because. Uh, uh, she got a surprise coming out very soon. I, I can't. I, uh, she got a surprise for you. <laughs> Leave it to the people who have insight. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's got the scoop. <laughs> well, Kimmy, but, uh, it was definitely an honor for us to have you on tonight and to, you know, formally pass the baton, but we will definitely be here to back you up and make sure that our faces are still, you know, seen and more so that you, you know, have the support necessary to take the many breaks that you may need to take. So, um, oh, you're so sweet. family, we ha- we're not, Paul and I are not disappearing. We're still here. No. And we know that we will, you know, still be here to support um, everything that you're doing as well. So those are my final words, TG. I'm just elated and excited, no pun intended. <laughs> To have my sister back in the driver's seat and 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 just, you know, what comes to mind is Jeremiah 29, 11. And my sister, mm. I'm just so excited for you and the doors that God is going to open for you. And as Shay said, know that she and I are here for you, with you. you. If you need somebody to ride shotgun with you on a Monday night, holler at one of us, holler at both of us. But just know that we're here. We love you, and uh, we're we're just so glad that you are in a place and in a season in your life where you can truly stir up those gifts that God has given you and utilize those gifts to His glory. So we're just so grateful and thankful, and just looking forward to Monday night. Yay! Thank Thank you so much. You guys are All so right. beautiful. Virtus 31, <laughs> Proverbs 31, 10 women. I love it. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Awesome, awesome. And again, y'all, this is the 700th episode being celebrated in 2021 from Kimmy Kim. She was one of the uh, good folks that helped build Positive Power where it is today. And, uh, of course, we've been... Like, like she said, we've been current her programming for a long time, and she's been current our programming because, believe me, um, it takes two to tangle with this uh, this industry. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. And, again, uh, we hope we will be bringing some more exciting guests. I'm so excited about 2021. We have an opportunity to meet uh, folks who are in the entertainment business but are, 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 are followers of, of Christ, and I think that's really big to our listeners because a lot of times they just hear us have people here preaching at them all the time but this this year we hope to bring people who have been flourishing and prospering and and be able to motivate and encourage them and get out there and live their dreams you know because god has given us with so many talents and some of us are still just stuck on just that nine to five and not out there doing like paula said you know doing the, the things that god has designed us to do have created us to do so we're just sitting on jobs being sad and and um, and not glorifying him because he's mad all the time. <laughs> so um, I am so delighted about 2021 and what you and the talent that you guys have that bring these people um, stories to life. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. That was good. All right. All the time. And, you know what it took, <laughs> Kimmy? It took a lot of hard work and sacrifice to. And you guys know we talked about it last week. What it takes to, to be in radio, what it takes to be in podcast, it's not a cakewalk at all. But yeah. we know what we were. We know what God designed us to do. Yeah, you know. life happens, and that's exactly what happens. But when we all come mm-hmm. together collectively to do what needs to be done, and we don't forget the mission, what you see mm-hmm. two years later seems like it was only six months. Yeah, know, yeah. That something? that's right. And when you make it through that. When you make it through that storm, man, that sun is bright. 
right. Mm-hmm. That's right. We all have stories. We all have stories. But the bottom line is um, we live to tell it. All right. Like Paula G said, we woke up. We woke up today, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That's a good thing. All right. So y'all ready to close up the show? Kimmy, you gonna yes, close Bishop the show Batman. Huh? So you going to close up with prayer? Sure. Ahead, I'll be honored me. to. <laughs> I would be honored to. You guys so, are so amazing. And uh, once again, Paula G, oh, my goodness, I love your voice. And uh, and when we – I'll send off some information, but I need you to okay. send me your information about your wonderful uh, business and the beautiful Coach Shay Shay. Go yes. Shay Shay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> your your um, coaching and your smile and your music, and you guys – I mean, you guys are amazing. And then, of course, boss man, Jerry Royce is the reason why I'm here. Woohoo! Go, Jerry. Go, Jerry. Go, Jerry. 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 She's been still stuck on AM radio in St. Louis. <laughs> no problem. But, um, no problem. Oh, God. And oh, also, God. if you don't mind, I would like to get another shout out to my. Mom, uh, she is the one that got me started into radio. She went home to be with the Lord, Miss Ollie Booker. Remember mm. um, her, um, Jerry? She passed over oh. um, the 23rd of December. You met her through the oh. um, the telephone briefly. But she yeah. passed, oh, and I got her wings, and she's going to be missed. But I got to give mm. a shout-out to her as well. But um, let's go to the Father in prayer. Amen. Amen. Father God, thank you once again for this wonderful reunion with the family of, of the Positive Power 21, Father God. Thank you so much for the bread. Thank you for the fellowshipping time, Father God. So much love in this family, and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. God, please continue on blessing this ministry. Um, spread it to the innermost and outermost of parts of the world so people can know that you can truly have fun in the Lord. And I thank God for my boss, um, Batman, Jerry Royce. Thank you for the beautiful sisters, um, Paula G. And Samuels, um, Shay Samuels, also known as Coach Shay Shay. Thank you so much for this fun time, Father God, because we know in you we can have laughter, we can have joy, we can have peace that is beyond understanding in the midst of this pandemic. And, Father God, as we as we close out, Father, please continue on blessing those who are in the midst of the pandemic, who needs, you know, food, clothes, and shelter. Continue on protecting those and healing those who are affected by this pandemic. And also the bereavement and the family who are going through so much, Father God, please be a blessing. And, Father God, we will continue on praising you and honoring you because you are so good, just so good, Father God. I thank you so much for, for the bottom of my heart, for the story that the story that you have given me. And, Father God, please continue on uh, decreasing me and putting more of your ways and your precepts. And, Father God, I thank you. I thank you for this wonderful family. It is definitely a family of positive power, 21. And I make these prayers in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jerry, you remember when we first um, um, had that um, interview, and I had a <laughs> – we had to retape Pass to Power 21 because, you know, peas are, like, the hardest, sometimes hard for me to say. <laughs> we had to tape, like, three or four times. <laughs> that that oh, came no. back to me. <laughs> and this was, like, mm-hmm. right before the Baltimore riot. We were, we were doing the um, interview, and he kept saying, no, it's Pass to Power 21. Okay. <laughs> So that I had a flashback that time. So. <laughs> well, welcome and back, Kenny. I'm back. excited. Yes. Welcome back. We're going to be back to, uh, we got to have some um, some more discussion about when we went through with Sector 7. <laughs> well, that's, that's how we oh, met Oh, my Clark. goodness. I a, oh, don't even call. Talk about, oh, my goodness, Sector 7. Oh, my goodness. That opened up my brand yes. Yeah, we oh got some goodness. stories, y'all, how we got here. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Ooh, family. We appreciate everybody. Again, we're going to miss some Shay Samuel, some Shay Shay. We're going to meet some Paula G, PGV. 
on the radio. But again, like like you said, they're here to serve. Um, we may have some other shows that we may need to break out and see if they're available to help us out. But this is going to be a good season, y'all. Everybody just hold tight. Stay safe, y'all. Watch out for all that noise out there. Be careful what you listen to. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right. All right, y'all. Let's get out of here. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Don't forget, every Monday, you got the Triple Podcast. And for, don't forget, you got Kimmy Ken com- coming at you at 10 o'clock. It's right Eastern Standard Time right here on Positive Power with Derek Side Late Night. And, and you got Renewed Mind with Dr. Duckett. And you have... Lakeisha Mosley at 9 o'clock. So uh, keep it locked here on Mondays. All right, everybody, take care, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double X. Podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I don't live in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21, Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide. Make sure you join us right here on Positive Power 21 every Monday night for our Monday Night Triple Podcast. Dr. Dante Duckett kicks off the evening at 8 p.m. with a renewed mind with Dr. Dante Duckett, followed by the Lakeisha Mosley Show at 9 p.m. Then it's Late Night Radio with Jerry Royce Live and Shay Samuels every first and third Monday, and yours truly, Paula G., every second and fourth Monday of the month at 10 p.m. It's a tag team, so join us. Feel the power of the Monday Night Triple Podcast. Also, don't forget, join us Tuesday through Thursday for additional dynamic triple podcasts each night on Positive Power 21. Feel the power.